I would try to play it off. I'd be like, I'm fine. And there's like blood streaming down my face. I'm fine. Did the that mustache said, tickle? The what? Did the mustache tickle? The mustache did tickle a little bit. <laughs> yes, uh. Hi, my name is Steven, and I'm wondering, um, are you personally friends with any of the Walking Dead cast members? As a matter of fact, <laughs> I am. Um, I got to be pals with Lauren Cohen, and Steve Young, and Norman Reedus, and, and, um, and uh, Lori Holt. I, actually, I've gotten to be kind of buds with all of them. I mean, it's weird for me, because I, I don't, I'm the guy that does, okay, do you know what a lamprey is? <laughs> okay, The Walking Dead is a giant sperm whale, and I'm this lamprey attached to the other side and feeding off its delicious nutrients. And so, you know, part of me feels like I don't want to just show up, you know, if I visit in Atlanta, I want to show up on the set and be like, hey guys, isn't our show great? And I'm like, who are you? You know? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to oppose. And so, I, I do my best to be respectful and know that, like, yeah, no, my show is here to talk about your show, support your show. I don't consider myself one of the inner circle, but they've been so nice and so accepting, um, and they, they're all really, really sweet people, so I've kind of gotten to be pals with all, almost all of them, and they're great, so yes, to answer your question. Um, I, I, I sort of pulled the same number with Doctor Who, where I'm like, hey, I'll just hang out until someone talks to me. <laughs> yes, what is your question? I'm Amanda, and I'm graduating from Cal State Long Beach with an illustration degree. Sweet. So, I was just wondering if there's any plans for like uh, illustrators or uh, visual art um, activities in the Nerdist, like a gallery show or something? Yes, actually, we do uh, Meltdown. Our, our Meltdown space was originally a, an art gallery. And so, uh, part of the deal that we have with Meltdown is that we encourage them to, like, we do art shows there all the time, so any week you go there, there's different art up on the walls um, that's amazing, uh, really amazing. It's very similar to uh, some other friends of mine run a thing called Gallery 1988, which has a lot of really great like, pop culture shows. Uh, so we kind of, you know, we do some of the same type of stuff at the Nerdbox. So yeah, um, so, you know, go there and, and talk to the theater people. And, if you have an idea that you want to pitch like a theme show, then pitch it. Cool. Thanks. Yes, madam? Hi, Chris. Uh, my name is Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I'm a huge fan of The Talking Dead. I've watched it no matter how late it is for me. But, um, Thank you. How late is it for you? <laughs> well, it depends on what time I It's at like 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. Oh, All sometimes right. Sometimes I have to DVR it. Oh, you have to DVR it. Yeah. Right, right. Like one in the morning. I don't care. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. But um, my question is, you're involved in so many projects. Do you have a favorite? Um, no, I mean, I don't... Shetlish! <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul, you seem to have a really bad cold. <laughs> um, I, don't, uh, I don't know if I could Sophie's Choice the projects. I do think that, um, for me, I, I love everything differently. Hosting a show is different, and even like hosting a live show is different than hosting a show that's taped. And, um, producing stuff is different and creating a channel, like it really, I do a lot of different things because I like to do a lot of different things. Um, but I honestly think for me, I'm a stand-up part, so stand comedy is always my, like when I go do, I'm going on the road, it's after tomorrow, I, like I'll be in New York next week and I'm doing a bunch of dates on the road and going to London and doing stand-up and so, I, I just, for me it's just doing stand-up, it's like, that's the thing that is kind of where my, where my soul is. Um, so, is that, was, was that, is that fact answer, did you mean like within the Nerdist stuff? I just meant in general. In general, I think stand-up's probably my favorite thing, but, you know, but not by much. I love everything else that we're able to do. It's just fun to make stuff. It's fun to make stuff with people that you like, about things that you like. So, yeah, I really do, I know it sounds homesick, but I really do like all of them. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> no matter how late it is. <laughs> I'm gonna bring Wario. <laughs> and we have time for one final question. One final question. Oh my god, this is pressure. Okay, okay, one question. It's gonna be amazing. All right, what is it? So, either I'm older than I assume I am, or I speak for a lot of us when I say that we never thought a long time ago we could sit down at a computer, type something out, and then eventually 
we could have a TV show or just such a great following. Um, so congratulations to you on all the nerd success. Thank you. And on that note, I was wondering what you think the future of this kind of open source journalism might be, what uh, the saturation of the market might end up like. The price of entry has been never, I mean, never has been that, as easy as it is today. So That's I'm a very fancy question. Yes, uh, I do think sort of distill what I think you're asking, there is a lot of noise out there because everyone's doing everything, and so how do you kind of plant your flag? How do you rise above the noise? The what? How do you set yourself apart? I, I think, um, yeah, I keep mangling this quote that Bill Hicks had, um, who, if you don't know, Bill Hicks was, in my opinion, like one of the first real alternative comedians. And uh, he, would, he, would, he would go perform for rednecks and then, and then in his set tell them how dumb they were. Like, he was really... <laughs> Tense. But uh, he was a great comic, and you know, there, there was some sort of a version of, he was talking about stand-up, which was, you know, the more, the more solid your point of view is, or the more solid your voice is, the less competition you have. So I think the idea is, you do it, and then you see what's working, see what you like, and then just try to focus and specialize, and then the more your voice, because when I started Nerdist, very weird because I don't give a shit about entertainment news, but I actually kind of studied Perez Hilton's site a little bit, mainly because I was like, you know, information is ubiquitous. There's a million entertainment sites. Why is his getting 8 million views a month? And then I realized, oh my god, it's his point of view. That's what's drawing people. And so that's how he was able to rise above the noise. So for you or anyone else who's creating stuff, you just, you have to make stuff that is uniquely you as possible, and then it kind of wipes out the competition. And honestly, Content really is king, and it seems like there's a million things out there that people are doing. But again, if you just focus on the quality of your own work and figure out how you fit into everything, then I think you can, you can sort of rise above that. I mean, there is, the internet really has provided this sort of weird artistic meritocracy, you know what I mean? Like, like good stuff, and then of course some shitty stuff bubbles at the top, but, but also really good stuff bubbles at the top too. So, just focus on that, and then uh, and and and, keep, and the way that you do that is to keep making stuff that you're super passionate about, and then it doesn't seem like work. Is that somewhat helpful? Thank you very much. Okay, good. Well, good luck with that. Thank you so much for coming out to the Nerd Panel. Thank you for coming out to the Nerd Panel. I'm Chris Harvey. YouTube.com slash Nerdist. Go to podcast. Chris Harvey. What? Enjoy your burrito, everyone. Through my talking a lot. Bye. Yeah, of course. Nice to see you. Thanks, guys. Hey, Chris. Troy. Chris. Oh, heck, you're up now. Chris. How are you doing? Everybody's like, Chris, talking about you on the podcast. I didn't know you were coming to WonderCon. I didn't know until this morning. Nice to see you, man. Chris, are you going to be a picture about you? Yes, man. Tell him I said that. Are you going to be in San Diego? Thanks, man. Yes. Cool. I'll carry on the podcast. I'm talking about you. Oh my god, I haven't seen those guys in so long. No, I have to go to Talking Dead. I'm so sorry! Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Oh wait. Oh, I don't have a pen.
Alright guys, you guys are cool. Go back to your feet.